They don't want you to see this. For months, we've been told the next revolution in full-frame photography is just another incremental update. We've been told to be patient, to manage our expectations. That's a lie. What I'm about to show you, what I've managed to piece together from the deepest, darkest corners of the supply chain, is proof that Sony is not just building a camera, they are building a monster. And it's a monster they almost kept hidden. Stop scrolling. Turn up the volume. Because by the end of the next 30 minutes, you will know the truth about the Sony A7V, and you will understand why every other camera you own is about to become obsolete. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. The rumors are a smokescreen. The leaks about a minor bump to 36 megapixels? Dismiss them. The reality is far more terrifying for the competition. We're looking at a stacked, dual-gain 42 megapixel sensor. I know what you're thinking, why 42 again? The answer is in the processing. Forget megapixel count. This is about light mastery. This isn't just a sensor, it's a completely re-engineered architecture that uses AI processing before the data even hits the buffer. What does this mean for you? It means true ISO invariance up to 12,800. It means that shot you gave up on because it was too dark? The A7V is going to save it. It's going to make a perfect image out of a disaster. And that's just the beginning of the secret. For years, Canon and Blackmagic have had their moment in the video sun. Sony is tired of sharing. The A7V is carrying a nuclear payload in its video engine. You heard the whispers, 8K is coming. But it's how that matters. This camera will deliver 8K 30p, oversampled from a 10 nanometer portion of the sensor, with absolutely no overheating limitation. Think about that. Unlimited 8K. That is unheard of. But the true game changer? Internal 10-bit 4,2,2 in S, log 3 and the new s Cinetone V profile at 6K, 60 frames per second. This isn't just professional. This is cinematic production in a handheld body. They had to redesign the entire heatsink assembly just to accommodate this power. And the body. It's thicker, yes. But it's for a reason. It's a fortress built around a reactor. Now, let's talk about the single most critical component in any modern mirrorless system, the autofocus. The current systems are great, but they still guess. They still hunt. The A7V is replacing the guess with certainty. The next generation of the Bion's XR processor is introducing what is internally called predictive deep learning focus. It doesn't just track the eye or the car, it analyzes the subject's intention. Imagine you're shooting a basketball player. Current AF locks onto the eye. The A7V will predict the moment the player is about to jump for the layup and pre-focus for that precise future point. The result is a focus hit rate that industry insiders are calling psychic. Your keeper rate isn't going to go up. It's going to hit 99%. You will never miss a shot again. The biggest controversy surrounds the form factor. I can confirm the rumors. The A7V grip is significantly deeper, closer to the A1 design. But it's not just for comfort. The battery is undergoing a complete overhaul. We are finally getting the NP-FZ200. Yes, the rumored new battery with a 